Hey everyone, today is June 26th, 2023. Still sprinkling, we just had a quick downpour. We're now at the triangular great structure. Been raining a bit in Massachusetts. More rain means more water. And oh boy, look at that blockage. That's a really tall dam. Most of it looks like mud. Won't be that hard to get it out of there. I gotta gear up, gotta get some pants on, big high boots. Yeah, this one will be pretty nice. Dramatic, it'll fill up behind that little dam. It looks like the parks department put a slice in that dam right there. Big beaver lodge is down there. I'm sure you can hear the thunder. Look at all the water coming down the road. This coffee colored water will soon be visible out there. Just had a quick downpour. All coming down here because the drainage ditches aren't dug out properly. Needs some maintenance. Never realized that nice rock wall. All this land used to be farms until it became watershed for drinking water. Can't have farms anymore. Animal waste creates bad nitrates and pollution along with fertilizer, leaking farm equipment. Can't have any of that. All right, everyone, hopefully the rain that's now starting again doesn't shut the cameras off. It's happened, they're touchscreens. It might think a raindrop is a finger. If it happens, oh well. We're just gonna get this job done today. I'm not gonna talk too much. I actually just had some dental work done and it's very painful. Oh my gosh, there's so much junk.
All set. That may have been the biggest blockage we ever did here. Or most time consuming. Glad it stopped raining. Yep, now that there's no waterfall, you see it's going in nice. When there was still a good amount of dam, that's why it looks so turbulent. You know what's so cool? This water's been sitting in the sun. It's been a hot week. And water is like bath water. But as I started doing it, it started pulling cold water from the depths. Ooh, a bee. And the water's now freezing passing through here instead of bath water. Unless you're over on the edges where it's still getting that surface warmth. That was a big dam. When you got rain, beavers will build better. And for anyone who's wondering, why are you throwing this stuff through the pipe? This grate is not here to stop debris. It may be titled a trash rack, but this is so what you saw there doesn't get jammed in the middle. The beaver will build the dam in the pipe otherwise. This is much better than having a flat grate. Flat grate, they'll just smear mud against it in minutes. This takes them a while. Look, look how far they gotta go to get these little trees. This is a pretty big dam. Kind of hard to pull apart also. I think we're gonna have a huge difference in the other side. I didn't even see it yet. Yeah, had a little dams underwater and the little slice the park rangers made, that didn't cut it. Whole thing is topping. Yeah, that was pretty good. Look at all this current. Here's what it looked like before. Parks department put a slice in that dam right there. And here's what it looks like after. A lot better. I love the sound of thunder. Either another big thunderstorm's about to come through, or we're just hearing what just passed. Water's no longer going down the road. It's been about 20 minutes. Pretty nice. I didn't flood my boots like I thought I might have, because this is one of our bigger uncloggings. But these boots are bigger than the other big high boots I used to have which I did flood because I don't think this has been this bad in years because I come up so often to check it. It hasn't even been that long. I've gone months before in the summer, but this is a rainier summer than normal, or I should rephrase that. It is a normal summer. The, pa the past couple years have been very dry and drought. This is a normal summer. Just two weeks they did all that. Yep. All cleared up. They'll be right back here tonight. Probably, they're not even going to wait until tonight. This water drop, it's not that big of a pond. I'm sure they can already feel it. They're just afraid of me to come over. There's their lodge. Beavers are not really a danger in a big pond like this. But if the pond was like just this little area over here, that's when you get attacked going near their dam. Because they'll become territorial. But if they can get away, very unlikely. Beaver will come anywhere near you. And the sun's coming back out. Nice. Very nice. People sometimes ask me, why don't you get a whole full suit wader? You ever see me when I flood these? I can barely walk. If I had ones up to my chest, especially in raging water, I'm done. I'm not getting back up. That's such a hazard. In fact, today when it's raining, it's warm, it's humid today. Almost, well, it's not as warm as yesterday, thankfully. But... I wouldn't even amount minded going in there without the big high boots. I was considering just going in there with my regular boots or sneakers and just flooding them. Yeah, because I really thought I was going to get these wet. They're damp in there, but that's just from splashing my whole shirt. Everything's wet. It's just dribbling down into my boot. That stuff is way heavier than it seems. It's starting to rain again. You saw that one big clump? I struggled to lift that. That's heavy, water-drenched mud. That's quite the workout, lifting all those hundreds of hand loads through there. Very heavy stuff. That, that took the breath out of me. I can feel already a little bit of pain in my lower back from that. And people who tell me, gotta lift a little better. To an extent, I can't. I've always had bad knees. All right, so I think we're done today. Let's get back on the road. I'm sure the beavers with all this rain caused another big old problem about 
quarter mile down the road at the next pipe. They always do. Might even be these same beavers because it's a secondary pond. We'll be right up there. So this is a road that just acts us around to where that big old beaver dam is. This all used to be logging forest. Then it was farms, and it's still a little bit of logging forest. So here we got the pipe coming out. It's getting nice. It's actually getting more sunny right now. And all this garbage right here is mostly debris from us unclogging it. When the excavator guy lifts up that thing, a bunch of this stuff comes through. It's been kind of piling and it looks like beavers have been kind of reinforcing some of the debris, trying to make another little pool here. Beavers' main goal is water conservation. They want to save as much water as possible for drought. Beaver ponds are extremely heavy, pushes down into the aquifer. During a drought, the forest around a beaver pond is usually considerably more healthy. And then after a long dry summer, usually ends in big rainstorms. That's how drought usually ends, in severe rain, flooding. Now you got all these empty or below capacity beaver ponds that have space to hold water so it doesn't create flooding downstream. It just retains it and slowly releases it into the ground. Time to go down the road. All right, let's see what the beavers did down the road. Awesome! The state of Massachusetts put up a beaver structure. I wonder if they fixed the 
excavator damage. Let's go look. Yeah, we have nothing to do here today. That's awesome. They actually did something here. I, I did not report this one. But a lot of them lately, I've been, I've been reporting to the DNR. They do a much better job, it seems, when you are reporting it to them instead. Sounds like the storm's moving away. I don't know what this random scoop was. If it went all the way through, it's to get water off, but it's pointless, this excavator scoop. We got a frog, though, hanging out in this muddy water. But let's take a look at this new beaver structure. What do we think? Is it going to work, or is it not going to work? Is it even active yet? It's, it's definitely working. The water's not high. But who knows when they put it in. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not going to work. I call it. We're going to come back here in a month or so. This is not going to work. This is definitely not going to work. So, here's the old grate. And you see how it's reinforced a little bit new rebar. I'm guessing they cut a hole in there. That's going through. They found this old, old pipe somewhere and reused it. Got a 45 degree. They just cut the pipes and welded it, made their own elbow. I can hear water going through it right now without a problem. That goes into the middle of the structure here, which beavers are already starting to jam up because the structure is not, doesn't have a big enough diameter. If this thing had a diameter of like, this right here is maybe maximum three feet. If it was like six or even bigger, the flow going in the edges is less and less and the beavers can't detect it as easy, so they're less likely to clog it. But this is already a beaver dam. Yeah, they're, the beavers are building up mud around the entire thing. And a lot of that mud could probably seep in and clog. Look how small that pipe is. Also, guess what? Small beaver can fit through that. That's another problem I'm seeing here. They should have put something else smaller around it. I gotta say, it will help. It will help with preventative maintenance. It will take far longer for this to anything to happen. But, there's an AT&T company truck out in the middle of the woods. Um, it's definitely going to help. More surface area, just like the triangular grate we were just at, it buys them time. So this will definitely help out, because this is so easy. Look, the beavers just smear against it, because they didn't do that. They left this thing wide open, and the beavers plugged that, and the beavers are like, we feel accomplished. We just clogged this. Beavers are not supposed to realize it's getting water from somewhere else, but they do realize small beaver can fit through this. A small beaver, like, helping their parents. Big beaver's not going to get through this, so if there's no young, that won't be a problem either. But I'm curious how much is going through here. This pipe right here looks like a 8-inch pipe. And how big is this pipe? seem to think it's 12, maybe 18 biggest. Why did they... Oh, that rock is holding a rebar structure. I guess that's for easy removal. You don't have to unscrew it or anything. Oh my gosh! This rock. Someone could get hurt on that. So, good amount of water still going through it, as you can see. Look at that. Still a good amount going through it. The state made a good try, but like I said, long term, it's not gonna work. It buys them time. It's a beaver structure, but it's still gonna need maintenance. But on the bright side, not as much maintenance. So we'll check back in on this in like a month. I call it, that's gonna become clogged, especially with all the rain. Next big amount of rain to come through here, they'll be able to see the current going through there. And I, and I also, because the pipe's so small, I think a lot of their loose debris could also just clog the end of it pretty well. Yep. I'm not going to say anything else about this. I just want to let time take its course. And I'll show you guys what ends up happening. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.
like I have said so many times, with beavers, you just need a structure that takes them a while to plug. Because even, you know, any beaver deceiver you put, that's a type of beaver deceiver is what they call it. It works at first. Well, not that one because it's not big enough. You can clearly, with my eyes, see the flow. If it had a bigger diameter around it, you wouldn't be able to see it and they wouldn't be able to t detect it. They wouldn't be able to figure out how the water's getting out. So they wouldn't put anything against the um, actual rebar. A, be a beaver structure, you want something that takes a very long time to clog because beavers always outsmart the beaver deceiver. You always are gonna have to do some kind of maintenance with a beaver. It's very rare when they will build a dam behind a culvert. Sometimes they do. It's amazing. It amazes me why the beaver didn't plug the pipe. That's the lazy way out. The road is already a dam. You just have to plug the outlet. That's it. It's a lazy way out and most beavers do that. But it amazes me every now and then a beaver will build a gigantic dam across the river. Why? they could have just blocked the pipe. But it's a good thing because road crews won't take it down. Beaver dams rarely fail on their own. It's usually a massive storm that causes it. So, a structure down there is gonna help, but at the same time, oh boy, that's gonna be a pain in the butt to unclog. It's gonna be such a pain to get that thing unclogged when they clog it. And I think in a matter of a few weeks, that'll be completely plugged and filling back up. So, I don't even think we can unclog that type of structure because we'd have to reach way inside of there. I don't think it's gonna work out very well. Maybe we can open a little part of it to get water draining. I think we could definitely do that, but that is about it, I feel. Thanks for watching, everyone.